welcome to another Teacher's Corner. I am Teacher Kirby and today we're going to talk about how to train the skills on your bridge officers. A lot of people don't realize that you can change the default or change the skills that are on your bridge officers so you can train them with whatever skills you wish that are with, with whatever skills from the skill set that you wish that are available. Okay, so you see for example I've put these skills on my engineers and I've got a few skills on some of my tactical officers and this one came default on Neil and Exel but I've got some others and so I can put whatever skills that are available for that profession that I want on my officers so I'm going to show you how to do this because there are a lot of people, especially those new to our game, that either don't know how or don't realize you even can. So, changing bridge officer abilities or training bridge officer abilities. So, here we go. So, first step is to go to the home system of whichever side or faction your character is. We're going to go to Kronos since I'm here. So I'm going to go to the Kronos system. And you have to actually go down to the first city in order to find the guy who sells the bridge officer skills. So I'm heading to where I can, where I'm within range. There we go, beam to first city. Okay. Now, you can train your bridge officers wherever you want. I'm showing you where to go to get the majority of your bridge officer skills. Okay. So we come we came out of the transporter room and we're going to go straight ahead this is north we're going to go past wharf into the barracks okay and we're going to go straight ahead through the little maze and we're going to go straight down here you're looking for the guy with the three sets of different colored chevrons above his head. Okay. This is your bridge officer trainer. And you'll notice when I get here, it comes up with train bridge officers. And you may notice this seems like a strange place to put him. He's kind of out of the way not very easy to find unless you know where you're looking. So when you open up, they, he asks you if you want to see the store. Now you can buy a wide variety of skills. I believe he has, he has everything that you can do at the ensign level or just about everything that you can do at the ensign level except for a few things that were put into lock boxes or a wide variety he's got a good variety of things you can do at the lieutenant level those are the green colored books As you can see, they start going up. There's a wide variety here. And then he's got, and it's going to be a smaller or a less variety, but there is a, 
larger amount so you'll see he's got attack patterns he's got cannon skills okay the basic stuff dispersal patterns for mines and some and a training or sorry another uh, attack pattern and then he's got he's only going to have one of the commander skills and it's going to be different for each uh, profession okay same thing with ground ground there's more variety in the purple okay so this is where you're going to find the majority of your skills. Good news is they're cheap. Okay. Depending on the level. They go up from 250 to 2000 at least for ground to 5000 and then to 10000. So they're pretty cheap. For space same thing. 250 for the ensign, 2000 for lieutenant, uh, 5000 for lieutenant commander, and 10,000 for commander. Okay, and as I said, there is a wide variety. You can purchase anyone you want for each, for it's not profession specific for you as captain. So if you are a tactical captain, you can purchase engineering and science skills because these are going to go on your bridge officers. Okay. Now, if you cannot find the one that you want here, if it's a level three, you'll notice all of these are level one and two abilities. So if you want a level 3 ability, like let's say you want Auxiliary Power to the Structural Integrity Field 3. Here's level 2, but let's say you want level 3. It's not going to be available here. So that's where you can either go to the exchange or oops, or you can go into your R&D, click on Officer Training. You will have to make a pad. A pad does cost a little bit of dilithium, but you make your one pad. It costs four tritanium and one thorn particle. You make your pad. It happens pretty quickly. And then you can go down, you'd have to do it on an engineer, and you can find. Now you have to skill correctly so that you can do this. But you have to find the thing that you want, auxiliary structural integrity field. If you have one pad, then you can make it yourself. If you cannot do this, this is an engineering character, and he is skilled correctly, so you can do this one. If you cannot do this, you can go to the exchange or ask a friend. They're uh, pretty easy to find on the exchange. They're a few hundred thousand, so if you have that, that is fine. Um, there are a few skills that are only available through lock boxes, and those have do, 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 do. those have this little icon above them and if you hover it it says this training manual can only be acquired from a lockbox so those are only going to be available on the exchange or if you like playing if you like gambling you can try a lockbox with them all right so now I'm standing here. So say I've bought, all right, I'm going to buy emergency power to auxiliary one. Just because I can. So I'm going to go to engineering 
and I'm gonna buy my pack. Alright, so I've bought my pack. Now I'm gonna pull up my engineering duty officer. You'll notice the pack is now in my inventory here. Click on skills and there it is. So it's in my inventory here. So now I pull it up and boom! Now it's lit up and it says learn. So all I have to do to learn this skill is click on it. It says learning this ability will cost 450 skill points, expertise, and will consume your training manual. So I click OK. Training manual is should disappear any moment. Ah, oh, come on. Don't make a liar of me. There it goes. Will disappear and now you'll see the learn button is gone and so now I have that available to put on my officer and if I double click see now that's available on my officer but I want engineering team one to be there okay so I can train any of these I can put the 23rd century versions. I can put the endothermic inhibitor beam. This one's from the winter event. I can put structural integrity collapse. Any of these. And you can see I've got, there's quite a bigger variety from here. So I can put all of these, any of these that I choose. Same thing for tactical. I can put any of these that I choose on my character and set up the desired uh, set of bridge officer abilities. So now you know where to do it on the Klingon side. So let me show you where to go if you are a Federation character. All right, so Federation characters, I think this one's on a space dock. If not, it's only a transwarp away. Hey, what do you know, look at that, or space dock. All right, so as you can see, I'm in the bank. So let's go from the beam in point. Okay, so here we have our space dock and here is the beam in point okay so from the beam in point I'm gonna come down the ramp and I'm gonna go like I'm going to Admiral Quinn's office and this is where you're gonna find your bridge officer trainer I'm gonna come around now instead of going to Admiral Quinn's office I'm going to go down the stairs here. I'm going to turn left and I'm going to come down to this area and there's my bridge officer trainer. Same things apply. Store, you have the same uh, sets of skills available to you. These are all going to be first and second level. It does not have any third level skills. The third level skills you'll have to either make yourself or have a friend make. And it also does have intelligence, command, uh, pilot, and temporal operative. So you can get all of the current um, specialization abilities or special specialization skills from the from those and you can get all the normal as well and of course you apply it the same way okay so this is how you can of course make your deck your characters out 
with all the great skills that everybody talks about. Oh, I want to put this skill and that skill. And you might be thinking, well, how do you get all these things? Well, now you know. All right, so this has been Teacher Kirby, another, teacher, another Teacher's Corner. I hope you learned something. Uh, you can hear the discussion of Teacher's Corner live every Saturday night at 10 p.m. as part of the Pilot Review Show. And that's 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and I do hope to see you there.